Greetings and welcome to this week's Prime Insight. My name is Gavin Gooden and I'm the Marketing Director here at Blast One. When it comes to sandblasting abrasives, many people in the industry underestimate the importance of using the correctly sized abrasive for the job. First, it's important to understand what the mesh size means. That is, what's a 3060 versus what's an 80 mesh. These numbers refer to the physical size of an abrasive particles as they relate to a linear inch. So picture it this way. 30 mesh means you've got 30 abrasive particles in a line, like in a row, and they'll take up an inch. An 80 mesh will fit 80 particles in a linear fashion in that same one inch. So the higher the number, the smaller the abrasive particle. It's the same as sandpaper. So when you have a 3060, this means that all the abrasive particles are supposed to be in that size range between 30 mesh and 60 mesh. The size of the abrasive particles make a large impact on your project results. The larger the particle, typically the larger the profile you'll create. And if you create too much profile, you'll be wasting paint. Other points to consider are the consistency of the particle sizes. The more consistent they are, the better you can actually meter them in the abrasive metering valve, saving you money. Also, some abrasives have names and not sizes, like medium or new steel or GX2. What this means is we simply recommend that you always talk to a Blast One rep about what you're blasting before you order abrasive. This will allow us to get the perfect abrasive for you for your project. Thanks for watching this week's Prime Insight. See you next week.